hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple but cool looking and creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugins and if you want to learn about more text animation and kinetic typography then don't forget to check out my udemy courses link is available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration we are going to choose 20 second. And background color is white color, and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Titles Affection like this so we'll get this kind of grid now first of all we need to create our text boxes so for that i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'm going to delete this stroke we don't need this right now so i'll delete that and then for the fill i'm going to choose grayish color like this and simply hit ok then we will create one rectangle like this now select this rectangle and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now select this shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and select our selection tool over here and enable this snapping then uh, by uh, we will simply snap this over here properly at the edge of this first one then select the second one over here and go to the fill options and we are going to choose red color over here let's make this fit select both of them and let's bring them somewhere around over here now we are going to type our text but before that let's select both of these layers uh, and make sure that color of this layer should be similar like right now it's blue so, so you can choose red also so we can understand that these are shape layers then i'm going to select my text tool and i'll type my first text over here i'm going to delete the stroke and i'll choose fill with white color poppins font uh, extra bold version and i'm going to enable this fox bold and let's type our text i'm going to type motion now select this text press ctrl alt home to align the respective anchor point at the center go to the align tab and choose align horizontally press s for scaling option and scale it like this and let's try to adjust this over here like this then again select this text hit ctrl d and this time go to the character menu and with the help of this picker i'm going to pick up this color and select this and let's move this downwards and change this text to design then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and let's bring this over here like this either you can choose this color or you can choose white color both looks good i'm going to stick with the white color because it's quite visible over here like this now i'm going to select my pen tool and then i'm going to delete this fill i don't want that so i'll delete that and we are going to choose stroke and with the help of this picker i'll pick up this color and simply hit ok then from this point to this point by holding shift i'm going to create something stroke like structure like this and change the stroke width to let's say somewhere around 40 or uh, let's say 30 will be good like this the let's select this and uh, uh, let's uh, select the shape layers which are this one press t for opacity and let's bring this their opacity somewhere around like this now select this shape layer which is our stroke layer and with the help of arrow keys i am trying to move this properly over here until it should properly touch the edge of this over here like this okay hit u then select our pen tool again over here and then uh, from here to here to here to here and over here i am going to create stroke like this okay and for this i'm going to choose red color like this then select the shape layer and let's move this from here to here like this okay then let's make this fit select the shape layers and press t for opacity and let's make this 100 again like this then select both of the shape layers and press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point properly at the center and now i'm going to select let's say this stroke over here and go inside this add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this uh, start value 
100 like this create one keyframe at start zoom in a little bit go to around one second and let's make this zero so it will come from here to here then go to the start hit page down button two times create one keyframe and end go to the last keyframe hit page down button two times and let's make this value zero now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see now we will get this kind of animation and if you want then you can select those keyframes and you can move them a little bit forward like this now select all, all the keyframes by holding shift uh, i'm going to select this first of all right click and make sure to choose speed graph then select this and by holding shift i'll move one anchor point over here and one anchor point not anchor point but handle like this so i'll get this kind of animation similarly i'm going to select this one i'll go to the add menu and i'm going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this start value initially 100 create one keyframe at start go to around one second and let's make this zero then go to the start hit page down button two times let's create one keyframe and end. go over here again and let's make this zero now select those keyframes and uh, hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here okay select this and hit u u so we will get something like this if you want then you can select this and adjust this according to this so we will get something like this now let's select this uh, shape layer over here because uh, our red one is starting from here so i'll select this i'll choose my pen behind tool and by holding control i'll snap this over here or uh, because we have enabled the snapping we don't need to have it to control only so so select this and i'm going to snap it at this edge now select both the layers uh, the shape layers press s and unlink this create one keyframe at scale and one keyframe at scale go somewhere around one second select both of these layers and create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero so we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so if you see now we will get something like this if you want then you can move this up to 20 frames also so we'll get something like this or let's say somewhere you know, like this yeah and let's hide this for now and let's go somewhere around at this point i want their animation should start off so this animation which is this one it should start from this point like this then uh this red one let's move this sorry let's move this over here it should start somewhere around over here okay so if you see now we will get something like this if you want then you can bring them a little bit forward like this then we are going to select the shape layer over here press t for opacity or uh, let's select this one and this one or uh, select this red one and this uh, uppermost uh, stroke layer and let's move them a little bit at this point so if you see now first this and then this will start to end okay and select all of them and make sure to enable their motion blur which is this option so we'll get that motion blur also now we will need one blinking air type animation for them but before that we will do this for text so let's select our text and i want blinking animation of them should start from here so select both the text and let's move this over here select this motion text first press t for opacity initially let's make this opacity zero create one keyframe hit page down button two times and let's make this 20 again two times let's make this zero again page down button two times 40 again page down button let's make this zero again page down button two times let's make this 60 again two times let's make this zero again two times let's make this 80 zero and 100 like this so select those keyframes and hit f9 and by holding alt i'll adjust this like this and if you want then you can move this last keyframe a little bit forward 
and select those keyframe and hit Ctrl C to copy. Go to the start, select this and hit Ctrl V, and it should start at this point over here, like this. Now select both the layers and hit Ctrl D, and let's bring them at the top and let's move them over here at this point. Select these two layers. Let's delete this fill. We don't need that. And add stroke and choose white color for the stroke, like this and choose one pixels for the stroke like this so if you see now we will get this kind of stuff over here now let's select this shape layer press t for opacity let's make this opacity zero initially create one keyframe hit page down button let's make this 100 hit page down button let's make this zero select those keyframe and hit f9 alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this then select this keyframes and hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v so you get this kind of stuff now after that hit u and select those uh, layers which are with the stroke and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the bottom then right click new and create one null object select both of these bottom layers which are with the stroke change the color of them to yellow make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and increase the size select those layers and change the color to the black one and stroke width i'm going to choose point let's say point two or let's say point one like this and delete this null object select both the layers and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as stroke text and hit ok press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this at the backwards select the stroke text com select the rectangle and we are going to create one mask over here like this ok and let's make this inverted mask oops i think we did one mistake so let's delete this mask i think we don't need to add mask over here so let's stick with this stuff and let's increase the size and go inside this let's select this text and this text go to the start press p for position create one keyframe over here go somewhere around five seconds maybe select this move this one over here and move this one over here so we will get this kind of animation so if you see now you will get something like this if you want then you can move this a little bit over here also then uh, we will select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text animation and hit ok then you can go to the effects go to the transform and double click to apply and let's make this q value minus 7 so now if you see we will get something like this and you can adjust the scale initially create one keyframe go somewhere around 5 seconds maybe and let's make this 100 and hit n so if you see now we will get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation